Hello, I'm Daniel Watrous, and in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate your opt-in crusher with WP Responder. Now if you're not familiar with WP Responder, this might be a good plugin for you to check out. It integrates directly with WordPress to provide a full autoresponder and newsletter service. So uh, obviously it's free, and uh, it, it provides you with you know, a service similar to what you would get with Aweber or, or some of the others. Now, there are pitfalls to this that I, I can't cover in this video, but if you need an autoresponder to get you off the ground quickly, then WP Responder is the way to go. So let's first start by logging into the dashboard for our blog where we have Optin Crusher installed. And we scroll down to Newsletters, and this is after we've got the WP Responder plugin installed. You click on subscription forms, and if you haven't created one, then you can create a new form. So go ahead and click create a new form, give it a name, choose the autoresponder, give it a, a place to go. And after you've been through and set all of these values, you create the form. And that's going to give you the form code. So what you do is you select everything in this field and you copy that to your clipboard. Next, you want to go to Optin Crusher settings. So you follow the settings menu down until you see Optin Crusher. And you scroll down until you see the, uh, the field that says Optin Form Details. From these opt-in form details, there's a box here where you can paste the opt-in form. So you just paste everything that you copied out of your WP Responder. Click Process Form and Update Settings. Now you can go back to your site and look and make sure it all looks okay. And sure enough, the name, email address, subscribe button, and that will pull somebody right into your autoresponder, your WP Responder autoresponder. Now, if we go back to this page, we might decide that we don't want it to say email address. Maybe we just want it to say email in a more traditional way that they're used to. And I personally don't like these colons. So you can come in and make little adjustments. And you can even change this value to join now. So that's the input submit button, and it's the value that will change the name of the button. I'll show you what that was in just a second. After that's updated, you come back. Sure enough, it says join now, so name and email. So that's it. That's all there is to integrating with WP Responder. And uh, watch DanielWatchress.com or WordPress membershipuniversity.com for more tutorials on WP Responder. Thanks.